cancer replacements. What's up, baby? Let's do you a reading. <sighs> cancer. Let's see, Cancer. Ugh, a little bit of drama around you, huh? <clears throat> Wow, you have someone here that is either addicted to drama or they just they they just thrive on drama. They like drama. They love with drama. I don't know why I want to say that. They could even express their emotions with drama. It's like, oh, I fucking hate you, bitch. I love you. Which is weird, right? There are people like that. You know, they can't even express their feelings unless they're fucking angry. Or when they want to express their feelings to you, it's like, oh, you're so annoying. I love you. Uh, the emotional intelligence is not very common these days. So I do see that they love you, but at the same time, they're full of drama. It's like they fight with you, they, they try to get in the way. When you do certain things, they try to be like nitpicky. I feel like this is a person that will kind of pick on you all the time. This could be their love language, which, which is fucking banter. You know, they could be like, oh, what are you wearing? Oh, uh, you look fat or uh. You're too skinny. You need to eat. But it's it's a weird it's a weird way to express their feelings for you. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like this is the type of person that will put you down but at the same time they will say I love you. What? I never understood that type of love. Okay. But here's the thing. They love you but they're toxic as fuck. Does that ring a bell? That's what we have here. Um, they they could have like broken up with you. And they didn't break up with you because they don't want you. They broke up with you because they want you. Riddle me that. They broke up with you because they want you. Huh? Huh? <coughs> this person is basically a fucking red flag. Toxic as fuck. But they happen to love you. How lucky are you, huh? I don't know why, but I feel like you gave this person too many chances, Cancer. You gave them too many chances and maybe you know that this person, you know, is toxic, but they don't really mean to hurt you. You, you could have possibly reached a point where when this person breaks up with you or say, I'm done, you're like, okay, well, there we go again. You could have reached a point where you know that this person is just bullshitting, that they break up with you, but they will be back because they've done it so many fucking times that you're numb to it now. It's like, they've done it before. They're going to do it again. I know they love me. Well, well, well. Let me see your feelings. Let me see your feelings. <clears throat> because this is like one of the odd type of connections that you can have. Treating them the same way they're treating you. What could, what type of dynamic do you two have? Because this cannot be healthy. <laughs> it's not fucking healthy, is it? 
you like I'm not sure if you are conscious of this or not, but you could be putting each other down to the point that you could be each other's enemies, but at the same time you share the same bed. <coughs> oh my god, the the negative energy that's coming through this <coughs> it's quite concerning actually. You are becoming each other's bad luck by being together, by treating each other the way that you are treating each other. I feel like they could have started it, but I feel like you are also playing along. Now, here's the thing. You could be thinking, well, they are my fucking twin flame or they are my soulmate. Bitch, please, please cut the crap. This is not what a twin flame looks like. This is not what a fucking soulmate looks like. Not even a karmic. Because a karmic is, is not on and off. The karmic is learning a lesson and leaving. Unless, actually, yeah, unless you choose to repeat a cycle with them, which I clearly see you choosing to. Now, obviously, if this is not you, I insist that you fucking click off. I don't want to hear about it. Oh, I, I used to be like that, but I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> oh, it's not my reading. I don't give a fuck. Leave it for the person that needs to hear this message. So, Cancer, here's the thing. You and this person are not good for each other. Why does this relationship insist, though? Why is it persisting? It is disguised as love, which makes sense. Disguised as love. There is strong attraction between the two of you, which kind of helps keeping this toxic uh, dynamic. Yeah, there could be um, there could be like a, a child in the mix here. It could be like a marriage situation. You don't want to get divorced because it, it will look bad if you do get divorced. And the devil is showing up. You and this person are tied. So the reason why this connection is persisting is because you two are like this weird, <laughs> you are like this weird dynamic that is mixing lust and desire as love when actually you have like this bad energy and bad luck that is kind of like hovering over this connection. So you are really not good for each other. But you insist on being together. Which is kind of fucked up, but hey, if you ask me, the loser here is both of you. No one is winning here. No one is the winner here. Both of you are losing. You are causing each other delays, causing each other bad luck, causing each other's negative energy to surround the both of you. I mean, the beginning of the readings is literally the five of wands. If you are wondering why your luck is bad, it's because of this person. And it's not one-sided. Both of you are like that for each other, to each other. This union is governed by the devil himself. It's like, ooh, I have, I have lots of hopes that I want to crush with these two. The devil is here. And I feel like Cancer, this connection is actually uh, blocking you from experiencing something that is worthwhile. Because you're so occupied 
with this connection that you don't see any other people or you don't really see the possibility and the, and the world that exists outside of this connection. You're blinded by this. And I feel like it's, it's a mirrored energy, so you both kind of do that to each other. Maybe it didn't start with you, but it's you're definitely playing along. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you want to be toxic? <laughs> Let me show you how toxic is done. And you keep on feeding that into each other's energy. Where could this end? I mean, if there is an end, where could this end? <clears throat> In more drama. Wow, it's not even telling me where that is going to lead. But it's telling me it's going to lead to more drama, but it's not really showing me the end game. I mean, obviously, it depends on you because, you know, where you want this connection to go is going to be up to you. But it's not really showing me the potential of this or the opposite of the t potential. Because it's it, it, like this energy is chaotic. And you keep on, you know, when, like, OK, here's the thing, like the, the way I see it. It's like, you know, when you throw a ball, you can't throw it again unless it's being thrown back to you, right? So this person threw the ball and you threw it back and they threw it back again and you throw it back again and you continue to have this game where you're throwing the ball and that game is not going to end unless one of you stops throwing the ball. Now, for example, let's say this person is toxic and you're just being like, you know, like pressured to re react, respond to it. That's when you say, Cancer, I'm not gonna throw the ball back. They will have to find someone else to play that stupid game with because it won't be me. And then, it stops. The game is no longer valid because you're not throwing the ball back. So just because someone is toxic doesn't mean that you should be toxic too. It's not your place to teach them a lesson. If anything, you're wasting your life trying to teach a toxic person that they are toxic. Most likely they know they are toxic, but that's, that's who they think they are and they're going to continue to be like that. Are you going to waste your fucking life trying to convince them otherwise or trying to convince them that they should change? Not your place. Each person goes through phases um, internally before it goes external. So if they really want it to change, they will do it without you. <coughs> Ugh. Okay, so I'm done with this energy. Right, so I'm going to pull you another message, but we will take that to the Cancer Extended Reading, which is linked in the description box. Um, I will give you a preview of the energy that we're taking there before we take it there. <sighs> Let's see. <clears throat> Cancer. Cancer. <clears throat> Cancer, let's see. Let's see. There's more fucking like it. <coughs> there is someone here that feels a strong connection to you. I don't know why I'm getting like, like they could be um, light. Uh, they could have blonde hair or brown, light, br light brown. <coughs> so, wow. Is this a past person? Is this a past? 
Okay, we have a past person here, here that wants the reconciliation because they feel a strong connection with you. 